Hey guys, William here. So welcome back to another Life Size video. So this is going to be on the Magic Power 2007 uh, Groundbreaker Heads Up Harry. Um, this was sold exclusively at Walmart that year. And I believe there was another one that was sold at Party City. Maybe the same year or the year after that, but I don't know. But anyways, this is the Walmart version. As you can see by the purple box design and the Walmart barcode right here. So as you can tell that this is the Groundbreaker Heads Up Harry because this is not the life size because it's only the top half of the body and it just sits on the ground. While the life size version was also uh, 2007 and sold at Walmart and many other places like Party City, Kmart, Target, Menards, and Online Spirit Halloween and Grandin Road. But this came from Walmart. So um, I got this on eBay a couple months ago for about $100 and it was a total steal because most of these Heads Up Harrys go for about... 300 to 400 on eBay. Mainly the life size is not the groundbreakers, but um, yeah, this had no cosmetic and mechanical issues. Um, the only thing I did do was buy a new adapter for it because it has that big blocky, like heavy adapter. And it started getting warm at the end when I was testing him. So I kind of didn't really want to have a fire hazard like near my display. So I just bought a new one for it. So yeah, this is just the plain white box with just like the picture just posted on it. There is no picture on the back side, just this side right here. Um, so yeah, there's several different heads of Harry's. There's the clown, the scarecrow, the Hilda witch, and the Frankenstein, the chef, and then obviously just the regular version. But this is the most well-known version. This is pretty much like Magic Power's debut life size or animatronics because they made smaller versions of this. And then 2008 lets the face rippers and then many other props after this one. So yeah. So here he is. As you can see, he's in really good condition. He has no tears, no rips on him. The clothes are in perfect shape. And this is the new adapter I bought. As you can see, it has a light on it. This takes a 9-volt, 1.5-amp adapter. And it did come with it, but I just got a newer version. The cord is a little bit shorter than the other version, but it's okay. And the, the difference you can tell between this and the life size is that, obviously, it's just the top half. It just sits on the ground. There is a trimmy button on his wrist right here. And there is a light sensor right here on his tie. And also, most of the older Heads Up Harry's, mainly 2007, 2008, they have the separated fingers, as you can see right here. But most of the new ones, like I think past like 2010 or 11, they have the hands that are just basically pushed together or like glued together like this. So his mouth moves, his eyes turn, they don't light up unlike Face Ripper, and the head lifts up and down. And it also has the light up neck in both the head and in the neck right down here. So yeah, this, um, unfortunately, it only runs on plug-in. I thought it took D batteries, but when I got the battery door open, there were no contacts in there. So it kind of seems a little pointless just to have it there, just have it run on plug-in. So yeah, he has three settings. He has light sensor, he has try me, then he has off. So yeah, and he also has volume control and he, he has two phrases just like Face Ripper and they're all the same like phrases that you heard on most Heads Up Harry's besides the witch, the clown, and I think the Frankenstein, they all have different phrases. So yeah, let's uh, turn them on. So his sound quality is actually really good. I've heard that a lot of Heads of Paragus, they didn't have good sound quality, but mine pretty much does. And unfortunately, I do have to say this, but Magic Power is no longer in business as of 2021 because I heard that there are rumors saying that Jimmy filed a lawsuit against them because their designs look a little familiar like them because they had the same base design, they had the trimming button, and they have kind of the same collapsing mechanism. And then I think, I do know this for a fact that Magic Power did end up going out of business in 2021 because they were bought out by a company called Kids of America, and they're pretty much branded as them now. So yeah, it's unfortunate, but unfortunately, they weren't really doing stuff like this anymore at that time. They had moved on to like cheap stuff and like just pull-based things. So I mean, we're not going to see stuff like this anyway. This is from like basically 16, 17 years ago, so things have changed in the past decade and a half. 
So yeah, I'll do his last phrase and then I'll be done with the video. So yeah, this is my review on the Magic Power 2007 Groundbreaker Heads Up Parry. Remember to like and subscribe. Anyway, see you.